Here is a method to get anything done, to overcome procrastination and make progress on your dreams. The method is called ACT, A-C-T, Attitude, Chunking, and Timing. So here's how it goes. When it comes to anything on your calendar that you need to do, anything in your schedule, any to-do item, okay, just if you, if you feel yourself having some resistance towards it, some procrastination, just bring in this idea of ACT. Attitude, chunking, and timing. So, so A for attitude. What does that mean? It means to do whatever, you, whatever practice you need to do to bring yourself back to a positive mental attitude about the task at hand, about the dream, that you can do this, that everything can be approached with experimentation, that you are taken care of forever by a higher power, and that, this is, that you're truly going to be okay. And that whatever you set your mind to and you, and you take step by step, you can absolutely accomplish, okay? And that brings us to the C in ACT, A for attitude, C for chunking. Chunking means to put your, the, the, the project or the task, write down the smaller steps for that task or that project so that every step feels very doable for you. Chunk down this large project into smaller, smaller bits. So... For example, if I'm writing a blog post and I'm feeling intimidated, I'm like seeing this blank screen and I'm like, how can I possibly write a blog post? Then I write down what the smaller steps for writing a blog post are. For example, I'm gonna write down, okay, quickly jot down three ideas that I might want to write in this blog post. Step two, quickly write an imperfect first draft. Step three, take a break. Step four, Come back and edit the draft into something readable. So that's chunking down even writing a blog post. You can chunk down building an entire business into smaller, smaller steps that you can, you can feel doable for. For any step, if it feels, still feels too intimidating, too big, you can chunk it down even further. Write down those small steps. Okay? And then, finally, the T stands for timing. Timing means to put some kind of time boundaries on whatever it is you're working on, on those small steps, so that you don't spend too long doing it, so that you can actually approach it. For me, I actually set a timer for each step. So for example, if I were to say, quickly jot down three ideas, I might say, well, it'll, I'll, I'll do it in five minutes. Just quickly jot down five minutes, three ideas in five minutes. So I'll set a timer for five minutes and I'll go, oh, okay, okay, great. Let's play this game of jotting down three ideas and I'll approach it with playfulness, with experimentation, with adventure, just to quickly jot down those ideas. So that's what timing means to set some time boundaries around each step so that you don't spend too long doing it. Um, and that it, you can bring more of your, your energy and your, your playful attitude to it. Now, if setting a timer doesn't work for you, then, then don't worry about that. You can use timing just to put things into your schedule so that you're more likely to do it. Put those smaller steps into your schedule. When are you going to do this step? When are you going to do the next step? Approximately, so that you'll at least be more likely to do it if you put some time boundaries around that. So I hope that this is helpful. You can use this method of act, attitude, chunking, and timing whether it's a large project or a large dream or there is a small project that you feel some resistance to, some procrastination for. So I hope you'll give this a try and feel free to let me know if you have any thoughts on it, any experience with it or any questions about it. I hope this helps. Take care.